I've been creating art on YouTube for many years now, so you might say I've had a lot of practice. But today we're going to go back in time to before I was an artist. I'm getting out my drawing folders and we're going to see how I began my art journey from never holding a pencil to now making my own videos. My name's ADC Art Attack, his name is Bob, and it is time for another Artist's Redraw. Alright, so these are my drawing folders. I actually do have a lot more, but we could be here all day. These folders actually have some incredibly old artwork in them, with some of the artworks actually dating back to the late 90s. Yeah, I'm old. Wow, there's some memories in here. So my plan for today is to redraw some of my classic art as I have been doing over on my streams. However, I am not an artist. My ambitions with art are to create and inspire. I've never focused on progress and always allowed everything to happen naturally. See what I did there? I made an excuse. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to start with my first ever drawing. But can you guess what that is? That's right, it's Pikachu. Okay, so I can't actually confirm that this is my first drawing, but it's definitely one of the earliest and it dates to around 1999. Oh, I feel so old. Oh yeah, this is one of my drawings too. I have merch coming real soon. All hand drawn and made possible by today's sponsor, Printful. It's amazing looking at the start of my journey to creating my own original characters and selling artwork. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it Real soon. So this is exciting news. I actually found the reference I drew this from. Think about this. 1999, I was sat at, you probably wasn't even born. I was sat at home drawing my favorite video game character and the best part is I was copying. So today I can challenge myself with the exact same challenge I took as a child. Can I now copy better as an adult? So copying is a great starting point for everyone. It's a fantastic way of training your hand-eye coordination, but more importantly, it allows me to enjoy the drawing process. Sometimes I don't want to think about what I'm doing or create new ideas that just exhaust my mind. I just want to draw my favorite things. I never imagined that some 24 years later, I'd be sat here drawing the same image in front of thousands of people, all while being critiqued on such a platform when the original was shown to no one and was created alone in my bedroom. So I think I've done good. It looks nice. And as I'm not an artist, I can't say if it's actually any better than the original. Have I achieved my life ambition of becoming a printer? Okay, jokes aside, 25 years difference between these two, it's... It's actually beautiful. Oh, I got myself going there. Okay, so that was, that was emotional. Uh, next up, I want to give you guys something original. And I kind of have something in mind. Haha! <laughs> what is that? I was a, I was a troubled kid. I'm still a troubled person, but I, I was a more troubled kid. Oh, I don't even know where to start with that. So it's not technically an original drawing, it's a compilation of my favourite characters at the time. But it was a great stepping stone to becoming an original artist, as if you are looking to getting into selling your own work, you gotta be original. This doesn't count. So I made Bob and Sally. And then put them on a the pillow. Which is currently supporting my old age right now. Both sides. Special. But this was super easy to make. Once you have your original designs, simply jump onto the Printful website. Once there, you can browse the extensive range of products that Printful have to offer. And when you find something you like, import your design and adjust to your preferences. Using Printful, it really is that easy. You go from having an idea to a work of art to a final product. So if you do want to take your art from a hobby to a career, or perhaps you just want a physical item with your art on it, then make sure you check out Printful. Their link can be found down below in the description of this video. Now, going back to this monster. This drawing is gonna be just for fun. I don't think I can nor should even try to take this one serious. 
Although it's actually great to see the difference in my approach to drawing now versus when I was a child. I've become much less refined and careful as an artist. And I draw with such freedom and... mess. But honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is the most outrageous character design ever, and yeah, I will not be putting that on a t-shirt. Unless... No, 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 no. Now I'm doing something different this time. We've already had a pencil sketch, so this time, why not add a little wink? My patience in doing these lines is definitely telling of the artist I've become. As a child, I would have never. As an adult, however, well, there's not much going on in my life, so I can afford to waste time. How sad. You know what? It's not too bad. There definitely are some mistakes, and to be honest, I didn't really care all that much. But I actually think it looks kind of cool. Okay, but now I owe you. So how about a piece of art that's actually going to push me? And you know what? I think we're all a fan of the second best kart racer of all time. Yeah. I was 13 when I did this. Wow. I was so young. So I'll give you credit if you know the number one kart racer. But this, oh my, 2005? This is 18 years old. So once again, just like my other drawings, this one was a direct copy from... Ah, I found it again. So all I have to do is redraw this, but this time I'm going to put a little bit more effort into this one and use some colour later on. I distinctly remember when I was a kid, this was my favourite drawing. I was so proud of this one. Now that I'm an adult, I look at it and I don't think it was very good. I'm expecting myself to perform a lot better here today. But at the same time, I am going to try something different, and I'm really excited to see what happens. Okay, so this time I want to do something I don't really do, and that is to colour without using any line work. I'm not sure how the final drawing is going to look here doing this, and of course it's going to be quite difficult to get those lines and get those edges. But if I struggled as a kid, I've got to struggle now. It's been a while since I've actually taken a piece of artwork seriously. In recent years, I've become more of an entertainer than an artist, tackling more challenges, using all of my markers, coloring in coloring books, and of course, the cheap versus expensive. So today, I really wanted to put some work in for this particular piece and try. Try to show some levels of progress and just see how far I can push my markers. But I will say, not having the inking is definitely a new experience for me and it is very difficult. So there it is, my 2003 redraw of my 2005 drawing of a copy of what was my favourite game at the time. And this one can actually be considered a redraw. I actually did try for this one and I am so, so proud of myself. The other drawings admittedly were a little bit of a mess around. I wasn't really taking it too seriously. So I hope we're all in agreement that today's episode was actually a really fun episode. It was a trip down memory lane, tackling several pieces of artwork from my childhood. And I just, I don't know, it was pretty emotional actually. This was, uh, this was fun. Now I really hope that today's video has answered the one question that everyone has, and that is how do I become a better artist? Practice. That's really all there is to it. And I just want to remind you all that if you are looking to take your artwork to the next level and become a professional artist selling your own artwork or just getting some pieces for yourself, then please do check out today's sponsor, Printful. Links to them can be found down below in the description of this video. I hope you all had a great time here today. I've had enough nostalgia. I'm hurt. I'm old. I'm going to bed because I'm very old. <laughs> Bye.